how your technique affects TIG welding on this episode of Full Bore. All right, Pros, here we go. Hitting record. Oh man, look how good you can see that on this visible welding camera, that's amazing. Man, that's incredible. You know, who for 10 years, I've been begging guys, can you please get a shot of the weld? I mean, poor Scotty behind the camera there. He's like, I know, Fuller. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to get a good shot of it, but who would have known they actually had to make their own camera. Is that thing cool or what? Man. It's not this big. It's amazing. Okay, so the Visible Weld Company, and they designed these things to actually go down inside of pipelines and inspect the root passes of welds. But uh, I got turned on to them a while ago, and I use it for teaching, right? So it can come down in on this puddle, and what we want to do today is just show you some cool things about arc length, torch angles, and some of the troubles that you know beginning TIG welders have. What's arc length? Arc length. <laughs> Tell arc, them, arc length is the distance between your electrode and the metal that you're welding. So let's show them what happens. So what we're going to do is start off here, and I'll start with a longer arc. And you can see that it has a hard time making a puddle. It wants to melt the top up here or the bottom down here, but when I bring that thing in, all of a sudden, jumps in the middle. I make this nice puddle. Now I always tell people try to stay about a sixteenth from the from the work, or you know, to me, the closer you can get without touching, uh, the better. What do you think of that? It is now another problem that people have is they get this torch laid over too much, the torch angle, and anytime you see your filler metal ball up before you can dip it into the puddle, like this, it's your bad torch angle. And you can see that's not fusing into that root. We gotta get that torch back up in there, nice and smooth, get it down in tight, and that puddle just runs right along. Now, you know, I was always taught about 85 degrees, so you're kind of pointing at 85 degrees and working, pushing towards your work. That's going to allow you to get the proper angle and also get your shielding gas out in front of you where you want it. That's right. Just remember, you direct the arc, right? I mean, the arc goes wherever you point it. So if it's too much on the top piece, you've got to angle it down into the bottom. Yep. Or you got to angle it up into the top. You want an even weld, half and half. And man, I tell you, with that camera, you can totally see. It's why. amazing, isn't it? For more information, check out LincolnElectric.com or FullerMoto.com or these great publications. Full Bore Welding, Full Bore Sheet Metal, and the new ARC Magazine. Also, big thanks to our sponsors, Lincoln Electric, Jet Tools, Industrial Depot, and ARP Fasteners.